Hello, everyone. Good morning. Thanks for having me here today. I started my career as a software engineer in a software company after graduation. After so many years, I'm still very passionate in driving digital transformation for industries to increase productivity and increase, accelerate digital transformation. Besides work, I also like to keep myself energetic, healthy, and also creative during leisure time. For example, on Sundays, I like to go for hiking in the beautiful mountains or enjoy music by playing the piano to achieve work-life balance. However, I feel sad when I walk along the beautiful mountains Sometimes I will see rubbish, such as used masks along the beautiful tracks. They should be put in rubbish bin, but not on the beautiful grass. Also, I may see some plastic bottles floating in the sea. They should be put in the recycling facilities. Can every one of us do something one step further? to improve this situation. For example, if we use water bottle, instead of buying bottled water, this may be one step that we can do further. And also, if you can be the role model of your friend or family to save the planet, then the world will be much better. From recent research, microplastics are found in human blood. And these microplastics can flow around our body. And of course, they are toxic to us. And they may lodge to the organs. Why this happened? We should reduce the plastic bottles in the sea. By 2050, about 10, 10 billion of people live in the world. And about two thirds of them live in cities. That means we need more buildings and infrastructures to be built. And you can imagine about the waste produced by this population. Can you imagine at that time, how large will be the landfills in Changquan O? Every day, there are different waste produced and sent to the landfills. However, these facilities are fast reaching their saturation point. It takes time to build new facilities. And of course, can we do something to reduce this situation? Yes, you can. And don't regret until you see so many rubbish nearby. Let me tell you a story that happened last week. I attended a meeting with around 15 people. Before the meeting, I have read through the meeting minutes and get preparation before that. When I arrived at the conference room, I see there are 15 folders of meeting minutes and related documents there. And after all these discussions, by end of this meeting, a lady raised her hand and asked, starting from next meeting, can we stop using these hard copies? I asked myself, actually, I have a chance to avoid this happen when I reconfirmed my attendance to this meeting, I can just make one more step is to ask, can I just use electronic copies of these documents? So next time, if you have the chance, try to voice out with courage and don't regret until you see I haven't saved a box of paper already. Every one of us can help to promote green living 
creatively and sustainably. And in fact, helping to save the environment is not an option anymore. Business leaders who prioritize sustainability as their priority will are better positioned for business growth. And industry innovators leverage emerging technologies and also develop tangible solutions to solve critical social, environmental, and also critical issues. And some companies would improve their operations to target their sustainability. Every one of us can do something better. If you're a student, you can also learn new skills, new technologies that can help this. For example, even when we have time, you can maybe go to the internet and take some test on your carbon footprints using those carbon footprint calculator. You will find something else and note that maybe if you change some habits or change some behaviors every day, this will help the planet. And let me share a story of my office renovation in our Toronto office. We leverage latest technologies in generative design. We first surveyed our colleagues' preference on lighting, on acoustics, even on their preference for their distance between their seat and the pantry. And then we input all this data fed into the AI software and let them generate different kinds of office layouts, and then we pass to the designers. So finally, we can have better options and also reduce the construction waste during renovation. Every year, there are different renovation projects happening, no matter in Hong Kong or in other regions. You can make one step further if we use digital ways to do your work. And of course, most importantly, we can have happier occupants from now on. And talking about other industry, for example, every day we see different types of robots. No matter they are serving us in the restaurants or shopping malls or even in the construction site. In Hong Kong, we know we have shortage of housings. To increase the construction process, and also, more importantly, is to improve the safety, we can also leverage robots to help us. We need to eat and work and then sleep or even go to entertainment every day. But robots can help us to do more repetitive work and, of course, can even do dangerous work at some dangerous zone. If we can develop more of these technologies, and of course, many of you are students here, and even from engineering students, think about, can you use more skills and then improve this development of technologies and develop more advanced robots to serve us and save the planet? And of course, in shopping malls, during COVID time, we see a lot of sanitizing robots. And even student competitions, we can see a lot of innovative ideas from primary and secondary school kids. They can develop good ideas about how robots can help us. And so digital transformation can really help us a lot. And this is a good time for us to make use of latest technology. No matter you are an adult or a student, make use of your chance to save the planet. Today's theme resonance is very good. It's talking about our actions can do impacts to others. A single particle can generate sound. 
a single pebble can cause ripples in a silent sea, and a single person can make change. Make yourself a promise. Starting from today, do something differently to save the planet. For example, when you go home, can you choose to walk for some distance instead of taking public transportation? Next time, if you need to print documents, think about is it the only way to do it, or you can save some paper and then use other digital ways to do, to do it. Or if you want to buy a bottled water, can you also bring water bottle with you next time? And of course, there are different ways to save the planet, but you need to take actions to do it. And also, don't just do it by yourself and pass this message to your families, to your friends. Sometimes your actions, your words, will make a big impact to the world. The pandemic has reshaped every aspect of our lives. However, it's also a good opportunity for us to reimagine our way to work, to live, or to create. This is a very good chance for us to embrace digital transformation and can influence others too. I think 30 years later, we don't know how will the mountains look like, but I'm sure after today, if every one of us pick up a good habit, it will really make a difference. And also, we can do things differently. From now on, don't throw rubbish on the ground. If you see your family members or friends doing this, ask them to pick it up. Because it should belong to the rubbish bin, but not to the ground. And also, learn new skills so that you can accelerate digital transformation. When you graduate, I'm sure many work related to ESG impact. You have a lot of opportunities to do, but you need to acquire the skills as well. Many companies will start to introduce different operation methods to improve or to accelerate their commitment to sustainability. And for example, some companies will introduce carbon fund to deliver their commitment to renewable energy or to net zero commitment. There are humorous opportunities outside, and please equip yourself now. We love our environment, and I'm sure every day will be a newer day. This year, I have picked up a new commitment, is to do training work for kids during some holidays time. And I share about how to do design with some innovative product to save the environment. I'm sure when they grow up, I hope they have improved design thinking mindset. And also, they can observe what issues happen every day, and can they create something to solve a real life problem? For example, one student told me he wants to, in, uh, to make a robot that can help him to carry heavy things with his mom, and also can bring them home with him. And of, of course, it's better to do auto-sanitizing function. This is not a very big idea, but it's very practical that can help us and help our family. Everyone can be a designer. Don't hesitate if you have some new ideas. Write it down, tax it, and try to invent it.
Today, it's my great pleasure to meet you all here. I hope Hong Kong will have cleaner environments, and next time, let's go to, for hiking together in the beautiful mountains. And I'm sure everyone will have a better future. Thank you.